A cynical card cheat approaches a magician. He tells him he doesn't believe in magic and that he can outperform the magician with a deck of cards. The magician accepts the challenge, so the card cheat spreads the deck face up and asks the magician to note that the four aces are in random parts of the deck. He asks the magician to name any ace that he likes, and the magician names the ace of hearts. The card cheat, just by cutting and shuffling those cards, then goes about turning over the top card to show that he has indeed located the ace of hearts. He asks the magician to name a second ace. The magician names the ace of clubs. And just with one, two and three cuts, the card cheat turns over the top card to show that he has now found the ace of clubs. The third ace called out by the magician is the ace of diamonds. And again, with one, two, three precise cuts, they have to be absolutely precise card sheet shows that he has now located the ace of diamonds. The last ace, of course, is what many consider to be the leader ace, the ace of spades, and all it takes is two cuts, and with that, the card sheet shows that he has now located that last ace, the ace of spades. The magician is impressed, and so the card sheet asks the magician if he can better that. The magician says, watch. Without even touching the deck, he asks the card sheet to turn over, firstly, the Ace of Spades. The card sheet turns it over and is astonished to find that it is now turned into the Queen of Spades. The Magician says turn over the Ace of Diamonds, and again, the card sheet's astonished because now it's become the Queen of Diamonds. And with that, the Ace of Clubs had become the Queen of Clubs, and the Ace of Hearts had become the Queen of Hearts.